The new draft recommendations make three points. The first point is that uh, WHO recommends a reduced intake of free sugars throughout the life course. The second recommendation is that the intake of free sugars in both adults and children should not exceed 10% of total energy intake. But we also make a third recommendation, and that is that a further reduction to less than 5% of total energy gives additional health benefits. The sugar which is naturally present in fruit juices, in honey, in syrup. I brought here some um, examples of uh, foods that have a high content of uh, free sugars. You see this is a, an average soft drink, it's a soda, and an, av an average serving contains up to 35, this particular one contains 35 grams of, uh, uh, of sugar. So it's uh, the equivalent of 35 grams of, of, uh, of sucrose. Would we like to give the message that that trend should be... We uh, know that uh, dietary risk factors are very important factors for the risk of non-communicable disease. We have an epidemic of non-communicable diseases. We, we have, at the moment, uh, uh, 36 million people dying from non-communicable diseases, most of them in, in the developing world, 80%. Uh, we have a projection of 50 million for 2030, so, it, so it's huge. And uh, dietary risk factors, uh, as well as uh, uh, tobacco, are one of the main determinants of, uh, of, of those diseases. I mean, if you remove uh, uh, the, the risk factors, then a lot of those tests can be preventable. 